is uh, what's happening uh, inside the operations room. We replicated that here. Resolution is slightly lower than uh, what's inside but uh, definitely the experience would be the same. The drones will get airborne from where you saw on the station. They will be going out, you will see them here on the screen. They will be. What you see on the screen is what is detected from the uh, radar. Okay, The screen has gone blank. Uh, what you see on the radar is what you will see on the screen here. And what you see outside on the visuals is what you will be able to correlate quickly. So, we, uh, though it's a little uncomfortable in terms of temperature, sir, we just thought uh, to give a live experience and uh, we thought that you should see both of them together. The first uh, of the demonstrations will be drone taking off and using a repulsor beam. We will be able to repulse the incoming threat. In that case, the expected behavior is the drone will come back and land from where it has taken off. So that's the uh, expectation from uh, demonstration one. I will run you through the demonstration two in continuity and I'll explain what will happen with that. Drone has got just airborne, sir. You'll see it quickly in your visuals. It is right on top of us. A little while it will come on the radar as well. There's some detection on the screen that is the symbol. The symbol is the location of the drone. You'll see it move out uh, in the forward direction. That's the target for you. The track here, AA103, is the drone which is going out right to the side. This is the radar detection, that is the visual. Beyond the visual, it will always be on our radar. We'll go, we'll, go, we'll go out about 300 to 350 meters and engage our repulsor and then you will see the behavior expected out of a repulsor. Transmission has been lost. The drone is expected to climb higher. Now you can see that it is climbing up. In a typical return to home behavior, the drone will forget about its trajectory, climb up and reach back to where it came from. Since we launched it here, you will see it is coming back to home base based on the activity that you just saw. This is demonstration number one. That means when an incoming threat comes, it is detected, tracked, engaged and expected repulsing, repulsing activity has taken place. Drone is right on top of us right now. You can see it and we will move towards the second part of the demonstration. The expectation, the expectation for the second would be that we will launch the same target much further this time. It will go towards the gate uh, where you all entered. From there it will turn around. You will be continuously tracking that on our radar. So it will go towards the further distance of 600 to 700 meters and then we will launch our counter drone. So this drone is expected to go north all the way to the top and from there the drone is going to come into an attack mode. It's all, it, this drone is, will be the target drone. And we will also send out our interceptor, the, the drone that you saw on the top. It will take off, it will go towards the target, it will be autonomously engaged from the command center and Roger, call in position. So it will autonomously engage this drone from commands which are coming from the command center. There is nobody flying that counter drone. It is just taking off. After that it is left to the control of the detected track. The moment you see a detected track, autonomously system guides it towards it. The counter drone is almost at position. The drone that is the threat is further ahead. It is going north on the screen here. This is the hostile drone. This is the friendly drone sir. You can see the green, this is a counter drone which you see closer to us. This is the hostile drone which is going away and then we will slowly see that there is a detection, uh, there is an engagement that will happen. Call in position. 
this continues towards the gate it is moving at a particular rate this is the target drone uh, the counter drone which is closer to us you can see it's at 600 700 meters you can still see but beyond that the radar has to see so we are trying to keep it in visual range for this particular demonstration but the system is capable of to detecting up to 5 kilometers from where you are the radar is capable of detecting and the same kind of actions are possible the control links for the counter drone support up to 5 kilometers At the top of the run here, it will be turning and as it turns, you will see that we will commence an engagement. Stand road position. Okay, go for run. Okay. The engagement has commenced, sir. You can see that this particular counter drone is now linked to the incoming tar target and the entire progress is happening on the system. This is being moved to a position in front of, in front of the drone to be in a position called the lead pursuit uh, engagement which ensures that we always stay in contention. We don't want to be behind the drone. If you are behind the drone, you are always in tail chase mode. So there are three types of algorithms we use. This is one of the algorithms. And as the drone uh, progresses towards that particular target, you will see that it will be uh, positioning behind. Now the engagement is uh, pretty successful that the target and the drone are together. They are, monitor they are following each other at a point that uh, you will see that the target is ahead and the uh, interceptor is slightly behind. And then you will see them coming all the way back to the base. You can see that, sir. It's a beautiful follow. Uh, the target is maneuvering, the interceptor is following, it can't escape at this point of time. So it is being engaged in a successful tail chase engagement. If whenever we en enable a payload on top of this drone, you can either jam it, you can see what it is doing or you can even shoot it down. That is the uh, sequence that we expected it to happen. All this engagement is happening out of And uh, we are very happy to uh, show this live to you, both visually as well as on the radar. Yes.